In this experiment, we are using dilute sulfuric acid electrolytes reservoir. Black cable is then connected to the negative terminal of the DC power supply and then one of the platinum electrodes, this becomes the cathode. Red cable is connected to the positive terminal of the power supply and the to the other platinum electrodes, this is the anode. DC power supply is adjusted 12 volts, then switched on. Immediately, bubbles of gas is seen on both electrodes. Hydrogen and oxygen are produced on these terminals. Production of hydrogen gas is faster than the production of oxygen gas. After a few minutes, double volume of hydrogen is collected than that of oxygen. So stoichiometric ratio of hydrogen gas to oxygen gas is 2 to 1. This is the similar ratio of hydrogen and oxygen element in water. The identities of the gases can be confirmed using the qualitative test for hydrogen and oxygen. First place on inverted test tube over the tap at the cathode, as hydrogen is a lighter gas. Tap is opened carefully to capture the hydrogen gas. When lighted splint is placed under the test tube a characteristic pop sound is heard. This confirms the gas is hydrogen. Now second tap is opened carefully to capture oxygen gas as it is a heavy gas so collected by downward delivery. A glowing splint is lowered into the test tube which reignites, which confirms that this gas is oxygen. And this is the half equation occurring at the cathode, and this happens at the anode. Here are the two reactions, again electrons must be conserved, therefore, after multiplying the coefficients of the reaction occurring at the cathode, by 2. Electrons can be cancelled out in both half equations, the overall equation, then be simplified the overall chemical equation, clearly shows the relationship between the two gases. So in this experiment water itself is being electrolyzed into hydrogen and oxygen, but acid molecules remained unchanged. So electricity can be used to decompose acidified water into its constituents.